Hey guys, Crafter for BF Nations here, and today we're gonna take a look at the brand new game mode that was introduced to Battlefield 1 with the Apocalypse DLC, and that being Air Assault. Many players seem to be confused of how this actually works, why do they have three different modes, and what's going on when they join Air Assault server. So in this video, we're gonna go through all of those things, explain all of the maps and game modes that you will get to play in the Air Assault. Generally speaking, it's a little bit messy this time, because DICE introduced Air Assault game mode and under this Air Assault name, there are three different game modes. Yes, there is one game mode called Air Assault and there is three game modes under the name Air Assault. This doesn't make much sense, especially considering that we didn't have such thing in previous games and also, it is so confusing for the new players. So, to make it clear once and for all, you have two maps that you can play the Air Assault game mode on. The first one is called London's Calling and the second one is called Razor's Edge. The game mode that you will get to play on this map is basically a team deathmatch, but instead of running on the ground and shooting with weapons, you fly in the planes. The game mode is 20 vs 20, which gives you 40 players in total on the server. There is no actual objective in this game mode. All you have to do is fly and destroy enemy planes. It works exactly the same as the team deathmatch, and that means that the team which destroys more enemy planes first wins the game. On this map, in this game mode, which doesn't seem to have a name apparently, you can only fly in fighter planes. All the aeroplanes are unavailable on this map, those will be available in other game modes. Also, the last important thing that you should know about this map is that on this one, you don't have a limit of how low you can actually fly in your plane. And on the other one, there is a limit, which I'll explain in a second. You can go as low with your plane as you want to, but of course you have to remember that you can always crash into the ground, so watch out for that. Moving on to the second game mode in the Air Assault, as well as the second map called London's Calling, this one is called Scourge. And to put it out as simple as I possibly can, it is similar to the Rush game mode in Battlefield 1. You have the attacking team and the defending team except for the fact that attackers have to destroy defending team's behemoth. Once they do it, they win the game, and after that, they switch sides. Defenders, however, have to keep destroying enemy planes, preventing them from destroying their airship, and also bleeding out tickets for the enemy team, so that they will lose before they get to destroy the behemoth. In this game mode, you can only fly in fighter planes and attack planes, Bombers are not available. And as I've pointed out earlier, while talking about Razor's Edge, on this map, London's Calling, you actually have a limit and you can't go too low with your plane, because if you do that, you will fly into the red zone and your plane will blow up after 15 seconds. If you fly into the zone and fly out of it, and then rapidly come back to it, your timer will only give you 10 seconds to come back, instead of 15. If you want to see how high you are, or how low you are in that case, and see if you will fly into this zone or not, there is an indicator of it next to your minimap showing you the bar. You will figure it out, it is quite easy, the lower you go, the lower the indicator goes and when you fly into the zone, it will be clearly marked that you have to go up. The third game mode is called Riders and this one also takes place on the London Calling map. Instead of attacking and defending team here, basically, both teams have a behemoth and whichever teams destroy enemy behemoths first, wins the game. All types of planes are available here, you can fly in whatever you want to, and you can even spawn into the airship and sit there, defending it. But personally, I think that the fighter plane is the best choice that you can go with for all those three game modes. It is the easiest one to dogfight in and also, it is the most effective one in doing it. And that would be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, you are more than welcome to check out my own YouTube channel where I post Battlefield content daily, it is on the screen right now, it is also in the description, and also, don't forget to join BF Nations, which is currently the biggest and fastest growing Battlefield community in the whole world, and as always, 
If you enjoyed, remember to leave a like, subscribe and I see you on the battlefield!